Concussions are an increasingly big problem in the United States. Starting at the PV level and going all the way to the NFL, concussions are having a very bad effect on the human brain. In a new movie, Will Smith talks about the bad effects of concussions. We also talked to our trainer, Jeff Bozlicato, about how bad concussions could be for the human brain, and we talked to star quarterback Ryan Moore, who's had more than one concussion in his playing career. A concussion is a traumatic brain injury that alters the way your brain functions. Um, it's usually caused by a blow to the head or a blow that jars your head and causes your brain to move inside your skull. Ryan, after watching shots like this. What made you continue to play football? Um, I still play because I love the game and I never thought it could be me getting lit up like that guy just did. Right, over the years of playing football, how many concussions have you sustained? I've had five concussions total. Wow. This year in football, when did you know you had a concussion? Well, after, well, at halftime of the Pal Park game, I was throwing up in the bathroom, in the locker room. Um, played the rest of the game, and then it, in the second half, I blacked out. And when I went to the doctor, they told me I had three concussions throughout the season, so I stopped playing. After getting the first two concussions, what made you keep playing football? Um, well, it's kind of a hard question, but I was the captain, I was the quarterback. I had seen a lot of guys getting injured and not being tough, kind of wimping out, playing softly. So I tried to uh, play through it, maybe win some games. But after that game, I kind of realized that it wasn't really good for my health to keep playing, so I stopped. If you could do it all over again, go back to freshman year of high school, would you play football? Um, well, I had one concussion in eighth grade. So, yes, I would have played freshman year. Got my second concussion sophomore year. Um, probably still would have played through it because I love the game and I didn't really think concussion could affect me that much. But um, junior year, I was fine. Played through the entire season, no injuries. And then senior year, I had three concussions and three weeks, so I realized that all the symptoms that I was gonna have wouldn't really over, like wouldn't be worth playing football anymore, so that's why I stopped. But yes, going back to freshman year, I would've played, but I would've also made the same decision to stop playing after my third game of senior year. 53% of athletes admit that they would stay in a game after sustaining a concussion and as many as one in five high school athletes will sustain a sports concussion during their season. And in 2014, there were 202 documented cases of concussions in the National Football League. Mr. Olak, on all the research and development on concussions, would you let your kids play football? Football is my favorite sport in the entire world, and at one point, I would have said yes, but knowing what we know now, I have to say there's absolutely no way I would let my sons play football. Would you let your child play football? No, I would not. Why? I enjoy football, but I don't believe, I would like her or him, if we ever have another one, to actually know their name when they're like 20. Mr. Quincy, after everything we know about concussions, would you let your son play football? Uh, yes, I think I would. Carol, after knowing all we know about concussions, would you let your son play football? Um, I would uh, definitely hold off on allowing him to be involved in football until he was older. Uh, I just think um, they get started way too early with it. I think being involved with flag football and learning the skills of the game are priority first and then the hitting can come later. So I would definitely hold him out to probably high school age and then I would let him determine what he wanted to do. Before an NFL player can return to practice or a game, they have to get a baseline evaluation of their symptoms and a neurological exam. They have to pass a graduated exercise challenge and they have to meet with their own independent neurologist who must clear them to play. So overall football is not a dying sport because the NFL is doing a lot to keep their players safe and everybody still enjoys watching a football game.